A blue light police escort cutting through London's traffic, sirens blaring, but it wasn't for a royal or a political figure, it was for pop sensation Taylor Swift. The decision has sparked outrage, raising eyebrows and accusations of political overreach. How did the beloved American singer get the kind of treatment usually reserved for heads of state, and why are top labor ministers now under fire? Taylor Swift's London concerts were highly anticipated, bringing fans from all over the UK to Wembley Stadium. But what was supposed to be a joyous event has now escalated into a political controversy of epic proportions. It emerged that Labour ministers, including Home Secretary Yvette Cooper and London Mayor Sadiq Khan, had a hand in granting Swift a police escort to her shows, an unprecedented move that has left many questioning the misuse of taxpayer money and political influence. As former Prime Minister Boris Johnson weighs in, calling the move utterly incredulous, the scandal has reignited debates over the independence of police operations, the misuse of public resources, and the perks enjoyed by those in power. The controversy began when it was revealed that Taylor Swift received a special escort group, SEG, police escort, usually reserved for royalty and high-ranking officials, to ensure her smooth passage to her Wembley concerts. This is the first time the Metropolitan Police has ever extended such privileges to a pop star, and it wasn't long before the backlash began. Boris Johnson, who served as the mayor of London before his tenure as prime minister, made his disdain clear in a scathing article. Never in all my time as mayor did I suggest to the police that some distinguished rich visitor to London might need outriders, he wrote. He criticized the Labour government for breaking tradition and setting a dangerous precedent by providing this special service to Swift, a move he called bizarre and indicative of political favoritism. The former PM's harsh words weren't just aimed at Yvette Cooper. He also pointed a finger at Prime Minister Sir Keir Starmer and other Labour ministers who attended Swift's gigs, hinting at hypocrisy and improper use of taxpayer funds. Boris highlighted that the SEG services should not be a luxury granted to the rich and famous, no matter how pressed they might be for time. This sparked widespread public debate, with Tory figures like Robert Jenrick and Damien Green expressing shock at the decision. Jenrick emphasized that such decisions are supposed to be made independently by the police, not influenced by politicians eager to accommodate celebrities. Adding fuel to the fire, it was revealed that several Labour ministers, including Yvette Cooper and London Mayor Sadiq Khan, received free tickets to Swift's concerts, courtesy of her record label, Universal, and the Football Association. While Labour's leadership insisted that the final call was left to police chiefs, questions remained about how much influence the ministers exerted behind the scenes. Scotland Yard, maintaining their stance on operational independence, stated that the escort was a result of risk assessments carried out after consultations. But Tory leaders, including James Cleverly and Lord Howard, were quick to challenge this, arguing that such escorts were never meant for private individuals, much less a pop star. Cleverly went so far as to write to Yvette Cooper, reminding her of the proper protocols for assigning SEG services. The timing of this controversy couldn't have been worse. Just weeks before, riots broke out in Southport following the tragic deaths of three young girls at a Swift-themed dance class, and Swift's concerts in Austria were cancelled after authorities foiled a plot by Islamic State extremists. Amid growing security concerns, Swift's management allegedly demanded a higher level of protection, threatening to cancel the London shows if their demands were not met. Initially, Scotland Yard refused, but after discussions with the Home Secretary and Mayor Khan, the decision was reversed, and the police escort was granted. Critics argue that this sets a dangerous precedent where celebrities can receive special privileges if they exert enough pressure, undermining the independence of law enforcement. Former Tory Home Secretary Damien Green and Tory peer Lord Howard have joined the calls for transparency, urging Yvette Cooper to address the situation head-on. Meanwhile, Labour's response has been evasive. Sources close to Cooper and Khan maintain that the decision was purely operational, but many are not convinced. With Sadiq Khan himself attending the concert with tickets worth over £1,000, the optics are problematic, suggesting a cozy relationship between Labour ministers and Swift's team. Khan deflected criticism by saying, operational matters are for the police, not the mayor, but the damage to public perception may already be done. 
the spectacle of Taylor Swift's London concerts has now been overshadowed by a scandal that has left Labour ministers scrambling for answers. What was supposed to be a night of music has turned into a political firestorm, with accusations of favoritism, misuse of police resources, and political overreach. Boris Johnson's scathing remarks have reignited debates about the privileges of power and the role of police independence, leaving Yvette Cooper and her colleagues in a difficult position. As questions continue to mount, one thing is certain, the public wants answers, and this controversy is far from over. Will Labour be able to justify their actions, or will this become yet another example of how the powerful play by a different set of rules? Only time will tell.